Hello everyone, today on the channel it's time for limited and yes as you know we have not have any luck with Dominaria United Limited so uh, let's just check and see if we have some type of new quick draft some other set because the sealed I believe wasn't that good and then the premium draft wasn't that good and then the quick draft the first quick draft was terrible. I think we went 0-3 because we picked four colors. And then last last quick draft we did, we went 3-3 three three with three colors. And what do you know? We are still in quick draft of Minaya United. I think we did a traditional draft that we went 2-1. But yeah, we're not going to try that again. So... Let's go for the third quick draft. Maybe it's the best bank for the buck, I guess, for the gold that we're gonna spend. Obviously, we'd rather spend 5,000 gold than 10,000 gold. Uh, this guy is good, but this guy is... That's what we choose last time. And like, we never got this creature to actually do whatever so I don't know let's just take the ancient and we have absolutely nothing in green so what's gonna be our second color we probably should just take the cut down in black and not screw around I guess Golgari Golgari is not bad and of course we are getting past red stuff now we're not getting past Golgari this guy is in Golgari, so we're gonna take him. I don't think he's amazing, but we don't really want to go into a third color right now. Not interested in ramp. This could be useful. I think we'll take this over the ramp spell. You know, usually we don't play ramp in this type of decks. Other elves you control. Uh, we're gonna take this. One reason is that we don't really need this. Second reason is that, well, we might actually get more elves. <laughs> However, even if we don't, even if we don't, it's not that bad. Uh, this thing is not bad. What does this thing do? I uh, don't want to make soldier tokens. This is not going to be good. We could go into a third color here. Or just stick. Don't really want to meal though. Don't really want to meal. I'm just going to take this for now. We don't really want any of the other two cards. <laughs> yeah, I guess white. I mean, we always end up splashing white for this guy. We're going to splash white. Oh, she's an elf, though. But we need, like, this is a constructed card. I think we're just gonna take this big boy. And yeah, of course she's gonna come back because nobody wants her. Uh, Splatter Goblin, I think it's a little bit more useful considering it's kind of an aggro format. Take this bad boy. Uh, take this bad boy. And yeah, we're just gonna have to splash white. Wait, this is like 14th pick. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's not like almost last pick. It is removal. We are in black and green. We are not in red. However, we could switch red for white. So instead of white, I guess, instead of Jar Ogen, and we are going to be in red now. Sorry, we're not in black and white. We are in red. Black and green and red. So in this case, pick up this guy. <laughs> so white is out, but lucky for us, we only took like a couple of white cards. Yeah, two cut downs because why not? Why not? Okay, so what are we in now? Don't like this guy. We like this guy since we are in red kind of in red uh, I think it's either this or this 
this seems good actually I have to start picking lands because if we remember last time we couldn't get like any lands uh, lands to the number of land cards in our graveyard we're not gonna have any land cards in our graveyard take the worm here okay yeah so the lands are not coming up even after pick six for some reason so we gotta be careful because red is kind of splashing for us right take the rager here like we're still black green splashing red lands are not coming lands are not coming okay so nobody wants cut down like why why is cut down that bad like he kills so many things <sighs> okay so i guess you have to focus on lands and creatures next i don't really want any of these we gotta focus on lands and creatures actually we don't really have to focus on creatures because we have creatures just gotta focus on lands i guess next pack because we didn't get any double lands this one's not for us uh this one is not bad i think we'll take the arena over the choking thing pilfer is not good this is good for us to ramp we can also take this guy because we are splashing red we are splashing the red phoenix chick is okay lands red and white we are not in those colors so that sucks so let's take the death bloom gardener we're also not in those colors terra sander okay so our removal is just ridiculous in this draft here we jump on the lands like there's no tomorrow we don't even look at anything else oh come on you gotta give us more lands <coughs> the lands got cut off again we're only gonna end up with one we're only gonna end up with one i guess this can help us Uh, I don't think we want more of these or these guys. Actually, we could take one more badger. Uh, we don't really want to play this. I think we're gonna take the prophecy, although we might not play that either. Uh, I just take the goblin. Yeah, we're just gonna get one land. Like it's just too difficult. Like they disappear after turn six. Like, it's ridiculous. This land should be going around until like pick ten or eleven or something. Not pick six. <laughs> it is absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why the the bots are taking the lands. They're not taking the cutdowns, but they're taking the lands so early. Okay, so let's take out all the stuff that we're not gonna play for sure. <laughs> I uh, don't have white, so yeah. Forty-seven. We still gotta cut five cards. We have twenty-three creatures, so we gotta cut a lot of creatures. I'm not sure how good this is. We don't really have to play anything. Turn two. These guys are good. This is. We can kick it once for green. It's not bad. I'm gonna cut one tortoise because we have too many. I think we're gonna cut one of these two. Might actually cut both of them at four mana. Still have 19 creatures, we gotta cut one card. These guys are okay at three. I guess she's okay at three. He's okay at three. This guy's good at three. This guy is very, very good. At four mana, we got these double huge guys. 
that we need three colors for. And I think we have too much removal, so we have three cut down, Terra Sunder four, two gyres five eight of five six. I guess it's enough. So we gotta cut something on the top. Maybe we cut one worm. I think one worm is enough. And I think that's gonna be it. We don't have a lot of red, but we don't need a lot of red. I mean, to be honest, the deck is not amazing again, but, but it's probably better than the previous decks we have, especially the remover. I'm not sure how I ended up picking up all those uh, cutdowns, like picking up three cutdowns, like, like, we don't know what's going on, like, honestly, like the opponent just, let's do the squeeze leaves, the opponent just doesn't care for some reason. Not opponent, but bots. Like, we literally got three cutdowns. Like, it kills, like, I don't know. Anyway, it kills a lot of stuff in the format. It doesn't kill big guys, obviously. But at the same time, we don't really need to kill big guys. Because we have the five damage spells and we have the terror Sunder. So we have three removal spells that kills big guys. And there are a lot of small flyers. That we cut down. We don't know how good the four mana two five is with enlist. Like if it attacks on the ground, it can deal a lot of damage if we pump it up because a four five is five toughness, so it could do a lot. But it just feels like a wall. It just sits on the ground and blocks. I think we have no flyer, so hopefully we're not gonna face a lot of flying decks because doesn't look good for us it does not look good for us to be honest we might have to take the elf out because literally there's I think we only have like one other elf and she's too green so there's not much chance we're gonna get two green on the second turn. So I think she's gonna have to go out and something else is gonna come in. We definitely not that elf deck. Opponent is just I don't know what he's doing. Aaron the relentless himself. We have no green, even though green is kind of like our secondary color, besides black. But we managed to draw two out of our three mountains because it's arena. We just need one green. Yeah, this is the one thing that we have a problem with because cut down doesn't kill this, fortunately. And we drew all of our mountains because why would we not draw all of our mountains? Let's attack. I don't think they want to block. So we have to pass. I guess next time we get this to kill this. How do we draw like three mountains and not even one forest? When we have like six forests and three mountains. Okay, they make lots of tokens. That's fine. Yeah, we definitely have to kill her. Why does he keep highlighting this? We can't kill her with that. And of course, no forests. Because that's asking too much. Unfortunately, we can't attack now because the tokens will just block. Yes, we do want a forest. Actually, let's just attack. Take out their tokens. Because next time we can cast this guy and then we can bring one of these guys back. Because we're going to have three land types and he comes into battlefield. For some reason the opponent didn't want to... Also we can give them menace. Okay, that's useful I guess. So we can also give them menace. So if we attack with this, but I think we want more cards into play before we give them menace. 
Oh, they don't want us to draw. Oh, yeah, you can choose with this. We keep forgetting. Sure. We're getting excited at drawing two extra cards. For obvious reasons. And two phalanxes. Okay, sure. So that's why I guess people didn't pick that down because it doesn't kill a lot of stuff. But that's okay, we can take out the phalanxes. Put it on the phalanx, make them 5-5. Five five. Oh, they only made one 5-5. Five five. That's still okay. But now we can't kill the bird. We're gonna have to cut down the bird, I guess. The good news is the opponent has one card in hand, so they should not apply more pressure for us. The bad news is we just got this going for us. Okay, so this is gonna block this. These guys are gonna take this out, and then when they die, basically you lose three creatures for two. But I mean, that's what happens when opponents got like five, four fours, and four fours, and we have two ones. We need the worm, but the worm is too green because, of course, we can't get a second green. We draw all our mountains. Yep. So this is gonna kill this. It's gonna take out one soldier. So we actually not doing that bad. We managed. Lucky they don't have pump. So let's cast this guy. We do need to draw another green. That's not a green. That is not a green. Let's just cut down this before they get a pump spell. And we don't have double green. And he doesn't need to give them menace. There's nothing to give menace. Let's just cast him normally. So we need to still draw green. And we need to draw the big worm. Or the big guys. We have the 4-4s. Four I mean, opponent already got their two 4-4s four out. So hopefully they don't have any more big guys out. And of course they have a 3-1 with makes more tokens that's fine I guess yeah this definitely has to come out definitely has to come out <laughs> what yeah we want to play with kicker uh, no This has to come out. Of course, we expected to have a second green because it's our second color. Red is our third color. We only have three mountains. But of course, in real life, Arena does not want us to get a second green. Can say we are doing too well, and our big boy is. Is pretty much double green or worm that gains us five life, which we kind of need ASAP. We don't have any flyers, so we gotta take a look at our deck. But this guy definitely has to come out. But I don't think we drafted any flyers, so we have to smash people on the ground. We might have to play the other worm. Well, <laughs> what's going on? Air on the relentlessness. We are falling asleep here. Like, they might have a removal spell, but I think if they had a removal spell, they would play it. We can't really attack. We need, like, something big to get through because they can just double block and triple block and kill both of our creatures. We can't cast this card. We kind of want a forest, yeah, but at the same time we don't want a forest because we just cast this and then it doesn't do anything. 
so we have to pass the turn we need the worm now we need to stop drawing hands because we reach eight lands same as the opponent this thing only activates if we actually deal damage which kind of suck because we don't have the trample yeah we definitely needed flyers for this to work We really need flyers for this to work, which we don't have. Or something with trample, which we do have, but we didn't draw it. If we top deck another elf, that would be amazing, because we could actually draw a card. But we only have one other elf in this whole deck. We can actually draw a card and the elf gets bigger. And I think he has trample too. Okay, so this opponent conceded. I don't know why we're gonna take the victory. Take the victory and run. And then change the elf, get that out, and probably put. Put the. Put the what? can actually put this guy as a one drop it might not be bad because it does death touch or we could put another one of these things like we got a trample over trample over somehow uh I think we just put the one drop just in case. I mean, having something that has death touch is obviously useful in the deck because we can block some big guys. Hopefully that don't trample. We can also block flyers since we don't really have anything to deal with flyers. I think we have no rich creatures. So without that, we don't have flyers either except for the one drop. Without that, we're not doing very good. This does not look like a could start but I mean if we get a third mana we can get this out so I guess we're gonna have to scry one with this and hope to scry into a land come on land that's not a land okay so that's out of the way. Hopefully we top deck a land. Okay, that's not what we're looking for, but it is a land, so we can't complain. We cannot complain. So, yeah, we need to uh, block. No, just get this guy out to ramp. Because next time we can cast this dude. Or should we kill the Drake? What does this do? It's just a 2 3 fly alone. Let's just get the bad boy down. Actually, we do have one snare spinner to block the Drake. Well, we need to get him on in case they kill this and then we don't have red. <laughs> and we can also get this down to block the drake and kill the drake. So we technically don't need to kill the drake. Okay, that's also good. Get this dude down. Attack with the Lord. The Lord is coming. And I think we can drop the turtle. Yeah, let's just drop the turtle. 
put more boys on the board. Hopefully they don't have the board wipe. I think we got stunned before. There was some type of board wipe before. There was some type of board wipe that basically stunned us. But we forgot what it is. I think he was red. Yeah, there's something in red that deals like a lot of damage. They're actually gonna attack, okay. They have a pump spell? Or damage spell for our spider? No, do they have a boar wipe? Oh, they don't have anything. Okay, so this opponent is kinda... Not gonna do well for himself, so let's just... Attack. So I think we don't want to, I think we might play the swarm, but I think we don't want to play anything else. Oh, why did we not enlist? We could have tapped one of these guys to enlist. Okay, we screwed up. We could have done one more damage. Wait, what's going on? Okay. Yeah, but unfortunately, he's getting exiled. So, bye bye. It's good game. What, they have nothing else to do on their turn? I mean, I cast this guy too. I guess it doesn't matter. So, they cast maybe one creature. And after they cast that one creature, they're gonna die. So, they have nothing else. I think we're just being paranoid. <laughs> We were being incredibly paranoid. So let's move on. We felt like they might have something, but they didn't. I mean, I guess they could have pumped that guy and then he could have blocked. I don't know if he traded or he just killed Lord Wingrace. They could have traded, but. We had the removal, which is obviously why we attacked, because we can just kill it if they try to pump, which we did. So let us move on. Bonan goes first. We have no plaque. Uh, we need to scry for a swamp. That is not a swamp. I guess we could have kept it because we could cast it on turn 3. Actually, this gives us a swamp. What are we even talking about? What are we even talking about? This thing taps. If we have one more mana, it taps for swamp. So we can actually cut down stuff. Okay, never mind. We got the swamp too. We got everything under the sun. So we're going to cast this guy. Because he's going to ramp next turn. We got everything under the sun. So yeah, I'm not sure, like, yes, of course, it doesn't work against three threes and three fours and whatever. Wow, wow, wow. Is this gonna be fun or is this gonna be fun? Oh, we can cast the goblin because we don't have double green and red. That sucks, okay. Just cast this. Oh, wait, why didn't we cast this guy? We actually had the mana. Okay, so we totally screwed up, but we are holding cut down for whatever that does. Okay, we're just gonna kill the end of turn. Why? Because we don't want him to block. Yeah, we should have cast this guy last time. Anyway, we're just gonna cast the goblin and see if we can make a goblin token. But they don't have blue, so yeah, they definitely cannot. They definitely cannot counter. So if it's a land, it just ramps us. If it's not a land, it just doesn't do anything. We make a token. Yeah, we probably should have cast this turn 4. 
because it's a 5-4 it puts a lot of pressure on them oh it's when he attacks not when he comes into play okay never mind well I guess they would have killed this guy so they use their one big removal They need to cast two instants to pump this up. Okay, or that's only until end of turn. Let's go for this just in case we might draw another remover spell. No, okay, that's not bad. Attack with both the boys. Because either we give death touch or they block the goblin and he dies and he take out this battle mage captain as well. I don't think they understand this can get death touch, but that's okay. Huh? Yes, first strike. Okay, well the good news is they're using all this stuff that they could have used to smash our face in to actually protect themselves. So that's fine. Next we can cast this and gain 5 life, not that we actually need to gain 5 life. Oh no, we have to keep lands in hand because this thing actually needs lands. We can discard the land card. We should have probably discarded in response. So we screwed up. Actually no, we have to come into play for us to discard the land card and draw a land. What are they gonna do, pump again? Okay, do you have another pump spell? It's only plus one plus zero, so... Okay, they have another pump spell. Okay, in this case we want to start changing the lands into useful cards. But now we don't have seven mana for this, but that's probably okay. When he attacks, we can put the land back, so that's pretty funny. And it's gone. Another opponent gone. Yeah, so we gotta say cut down works very well against this type of decks because the flyers are usually small. They are tricks, but they are small. So I don't know why we got past three cut downs. I don't know why. I mean, it's limited. There's many things to kill. There's many things it doesn't kill. But at the same time we have other remover for those things it doesn't kill. Bonon goes first, we are chock full of cut downs. So it's not good in terms of lands, but we can kill maybe the first two creatures that they cast. And if we top deck a forest, we can kill like the first three creatures in the first four turns. The hell is this? Uh, okay, they can keep their defender wall. Obviously, we don't need to kill the wall. No, no, no. We don't need to kill the wall. Okay, pass that turn. Looks like it's one of those games where we're not getting green again. It's like, do we have to go down to only like two mountains? Okay, they're ramping hardcore, so they're gonna cast bigger creatures that we can't cut down. Which kind of sucks, especially since we're not getting our green. We need our green ASAP. Especially since this needs two green. Yep, that's what we are afraid of. <laughs> we need <coughs> green ASAP for Terra Sander. Ah, uh, we are going to die so badly. <coughs> Why we have to get color screw so bad? Opponent already has all their three colors. This doesn't even kill it. Sure. I mean, it's not gonna matter much if we don't top deck forest. Oh, 
Okay. So we're getting somewhere. Before they get on top and do something, we gotta kill this huge thing. And lucky we have JS Tornado, so the next big thing they get we can also kill. And then we need one more forest to drop this guy. If not next time we just have to cast him. He's not very threatening. Oh, we have to hope they cast some small creatures so we can actually use this one. Yeah, you have unlimited mana. You can also draw cards. There's no way for us to actually kill this in our main deck. I guess we had this, but we use it on the creature. Yeah, that's no good. Cut down, not gonna do anything. Why does the opponent always draw like all their big stuff? Like, where's our big stuff? Where's our worm? Do we have to take out like a small creature and put a second one of these in? Okay, that's not green. Okay, lucky we have this. So please don't pump, just let it die. Let it die. Yes, yes, we take him. And attack. Can the opponent just cast something small? Please, like no five, four, and six, six. Can they just cast something small? Okay, there goes the wall. Like a two, two, or a one, three, or a three, one, or a two, one. Like people need to have this in the decks. Yeah, you can draw an extra card each turn, so it's gonna be difficult for us. They also have a lot more than forty cards because they went first and they drew an extra card. And they still, that is a good, that is a good target. Yeah, that's gone. There's a good target for cut down and then we can cut down the knight too. And Bob's your uncle. They can't, they need to put one land in the graveyard. There's no way for them to discard the land. There's no way for them to discard the land. This activation is white, green, and black. They don't have green and black. There's nothing. Wait, they have? How did they get a green and black? Okay, that was just... That was just bad. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take the land, obviously. We need the green. Yep, yep. So, before they get to suck stuff, gone it's gone this time they are definitely playing a lot more than the designated number of cards The problem is this thing gets pumped, so we need to draw another removal spell, but the problem is we use like four removal spells, so we only have one more card down. No, we have one more card down and one more jazz tornado. So if we discard the land card, he gets 
another big guy. Why do they keep getting huge creatures? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Where are all the small creatures? Like they have the 6-6, six, six, the 5-4. This thing that gets bigger and this thing is a 5-5. Five, five. Like what is going on? And like we can't attack in the air. Like this is going to be a really long game. He can't do anything, right? Just pass the turn. Yeah, and they get to draw an extra card. So it's not good. For us. Okay, that's also not good. Now they get to bring the guy back for free. Okay, so we're not gonna win this game, basically. We got as far as this, but like the opponent is just dropping like bombs after bombs and we already spent like four removal spells and we have like literally nothing to put pressure on except the swarm. Which is really not our opponent's fault. Uh, they probably some something to bring it back. But, yeah, we have to take it out. Unless they have something to give you for strike. Which we doubt. Hopefully they don't. That would suck. Uh, we don't have any other flyers. So if we have a land, we can actually make him indestructible. So now we have to hope to top deck lands when we actually don't want to top deck lands. He also doesn't do much. Ooh, we did have a land. Okay. That's going to be interesting. Actually, we attack with this guy too. Because if they block and he dies... We can take out the knight. No, we can't take out the knight. Wait, why did we attack with the goblin? I don't know. They might get confused and just take the goblin damage. Why do we think we can take out the knight? It's a 2-2, two -two, not a 2-1. Two if they don't, we can always discard the land to draw a card. Oh, interesting. Okay, that was very strange on the opponent. That was very, very strange. So they thought we have a palm spell. Okay, so we either discard the land to make this guy indestructible if they try to kill it. If not, we can just discard it and draw a card end of turn. And then when he attacks, we can put it into the... Actually, no, we have to hold it to make him indestructible. To be honest, actually, we can discard it to draw a card. Because when he attacks, he doesn't bring lands to hand. He puts lands into the battlefield, which doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything good for us. So I don't know, we gotta draw our worm. Gotta draw the 5-4, and this, obviously the 7-7 seven, seven would be much, much better. Otherwise, we're not getting anywhere at this point. We are getting absolutely nowhere. We gotta hold the land up and enough mana to make him indestructible. Yeah. Hopefully, they don't have another removal spell. But who knows, they have four cards. <laughs> no 
Okay, they didn't have another removal spell. We thought they might have Terra Sunder. Yeah, so they picked. I don't know what this this person did. Like they picked just all the biggest, all the biggest cards. Uh, this hits the opponent, right? Just hit them for three. But we only have three types, so there's no point in holding this in our hand. And this guy puts the land into battlefield tapped. Yeah, let's just attack. We have to put pressure on them. I mean, solo wind grease might trade with the phalanx, but. We should have attacked first, I guess, and then get this, and then cast this and do one extra point of damage. Oh yeah, he has menace. What? We don't have land card in hand. They have removal? For wing grace, they must have removal for wing grace. Yeah, we don't have a land card in our hand. But if we get to kill the Knight of Dust Shadow, that would be perfect. We don't really care about the zero five guy. So they're gonna be left with the zero five guy. Yeah, we need to. I don't know what we need to do. We need to do the worm. We need a seven seven worm. The five four worm wouldn't be that bad either. But the seven seven worm is very important. Oh, this thing has reach, but Supona has nothing. <laughs> Each, oh, each player has to suck a creature. Wait, are they sure they want to do that? I think we're just going to suck the spider. <laughs> okay, so they just cast out to kill our spider, that's fine. Come on, worm, like we put so many lands into play. How many lands do we have? Five, six, seven, eight. So we only have like 9 lands left. <laughs> yes, this is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about, the big boy. And now we can actually gain the life because the knight is dead. Why are they holding their hands? Are they holding lands? Yeah, this guy is going to be able, it's not a worm, it's a tree frog. He's going to be able to attack. Because these guys can't really attack. If they block this, they just take the four. If they block this, actually they can't kill it. So they have to take two. We have to put the pressure actually, so we have to attack. If they kill the goblin, then that's fine. We don't really care. Because they take four damage. Hopefully they don't have Terra Sunder, hopefully. They might have it somewhere in their deck because they're playing these colors, but... <laughs> And of course they have cut down. Oh, they made a mistake. They made a mistake. Now they're gonna lose the spawn. Because the goblin dies first. Oh, they made a mistake. That was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake. Oh my god. So they're dead on board next time. I mean, they might have a remover spell or a creature. And of course they have another 5-4. How? How do they only have, like huge guys oh and it's game over wow the badger comes in for the game the badger comes in for the game like we said this badger is not to be underestimated in normal situation it's not it's not the game wow but we still have to attack because they still lose the worm <laughs> So they should triple block and kill our ancient. 
What's wrong with that? We're at 19, they have no chance to swim back. And we could draw another badger. Why would they block that guy? They can kill the worm and take 4 damage. Of course they lose all their creatures, but... <sighs> I don't know what's wrong with these people. They would lose their creature, but we'd also lose the 7-7. Seven, seven. I, I guess they did both ways. I don't know, our fountain got excited down here. The badger, I mean, we smelled the wind when the badger came up. We just smelled the wind. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. That opponent had a just big creatures deck and they also managed to survive to get all their big creatures deck. Big creatures out. Ah, let's get this. We don't really want to scry yet. <coughs> Next time we can get our swamp down and prepare to cut down some stuff. Uh, actually, just cast these guys. Do we want to scry next turn, or I think we just want to play our forest? Something small. That is a perfect cut down target. That is a perfect cut down target. This guy is just a 2-1, so I don't know, just attack in the air for one. Getting mana flooded is not bad, because next time we get to play our forest and cast this guy. And, I mean, it's not bad when we have this guy and this guy in our hand. Normally it would be bad. Sure, okay. Now it's starting to feel worse, but we do have three turns. I mean, we have the mana for this. I mean, we have to play the grotto and make sure we don't draw another land. Make a bird, or do you want us to draw two cards? Nope, nobody wants to draw two cards. Nobody. Okay. Ooh, that is sweet. But yes, we want to make sure we don't draw. There's nothing for us. Ooh, that is a good draw, so I'm not going to scry him. Uh, let's just attack with him. Make a token. Don't need to kill anything. Just in case they cast something bigger. Like, yeah, they can make these guys bigger, but we don't really care about that. Anything big? Yep, that's what we have the tornado for. That's what we got the tornado for. So tornado this out of the game. Uh, we don't need the land. Talk with this guy. Make another token. Next turn. Now we can actually double block this stupid thing. Next turn we can cast our worm. They can keep attacking us for two in the air. Because it doesn't really matter. Does not matter after all. Yeah, we don't have enough mana to cast both of those, so... Uh, actually, let's just attack with the goblin.
You can get rid of the region, right? Yeah. Because if we kill the other thing, it's just going to come into play. Let's get the big boy down. I'm not sure why they didn't attack with the bird. Next turn, we can actually cast this and this in the same turn, since we're going to draw a land. And the opponent is not looking good. Not going to lie. Opponent is not looking good. Let's just cast this to see what we draw first before we attack. Opponent is not looking good. Ooh, that is a good draw, but this guy has to come down. Uh, attack with everybody. I mean, they're gonna kill two of the, the goblins tokens, but they still take eight damage, which puts them at four. So they're basically like basically dead next time. They are basically GG unless they have some type of board wipe. I mean, they have to kill the seven seven one because this thing has trample. But this thing has trample too. So they are GGs, and our fountain is exuberant again. What a deck! What a deck! We went from being like getting completely, totally, supernaturally crushed. Supernaturally crushed to basically crushing people. Crushing people. Let's get it on. Uh, it's not looking good if we don't top deck a forest. Not looking good. Bye bye. Come on, forest. Ah, that's not bad. Come on, forest. That's not a forest, but we'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, what does this even do? Scry one, okay. Can we get a forest? No, impossible to get a forest. Uh, let's just get the badger down so he can start blocking. And we would like to get a forest ASAP so we can cast this guy. This is good next turn to gain us 3 life. Or if we get another mammoth, we can actually kick it for white too. Oh no, we need to get green first. We need a forest and then we can actually... If we top deck a forest, then we can kick it for both and gain 6 life. Maybe we just wait for later in the game. Because gaining 6 life is not that bad. Sure. I mean, we don't want to take three for no reason. Okay, not forest, so... Uh, actually, no, we don't want to kick it. I'm just going to hold the card down. We're still looking for the forest. This is going to suck, but we have to try not to take too much damage. They get to scry. Why can't we get our forest? We have six swamps and six forests in the deck and only three mountains. 
Why is it always mana screwed of forests? Why don't we get mana screwed of mountains? Also, if we get a forest, you can cast this and you will still deal 3 damage. Yeah, okay. Nope. But we get to cast him, so that's not bad. We still want the forest. So you can deal the full 3 damage to the opponent, although it doesn't really matter. I guess next time we can actually cast this and kick it twice and gain 6 life. I guess. Yeah, that's going to be our option to double kick this. <laughs> Actually, we can double kick it. We need a forest still for the green because this only gives us one. But we don't want to gain just three life. I don't know what the opponent is thinking about. We are missing a color. They have some pump spell or damage spell, but we're just gonna take the 3 damage. <laughs> and continue to play f pray for a forest. Okay, sure. That's not a forest again. Okay, this guy has to come back. We don't get a land because they didn't discard anything, which kind of sucks because the extra land would have actually helped us. What an exciting game. What an exciting game. Are you not in entertained? Oh boy, oh boy. No land still. And of course they have the pounds, of course they have the protection. Uh, they can kill it, they can trade, I mean we don't really care because we're not getting the land so we got this far, but of course Arena has to stop us from getting the land sometime. Come on. Why do they want to block? I guess you might as well cast this guy if it only deals 2 damage to them as a blocker. And uh, we still need to draw a remover for this. Uh, or oh, we should gain 6 life, but then we can't attack. Yep, yeah, this is what happens. Sure. Yep, yeah, you got... You got it. You got it, I mean, we are literally color screwed of one color, and of course he comes the turn when it's a little bit too late almost. And we lost two lives, so it's like, what do we do? If we gain six life, we can block. This is exactly six, so I think that's our only option. Q 
key key with both and hold this up to block Solcana. I don't know. Yep, go down to three and I'm not sure exactly how I'm supposed to win this because of the flyer alone will kill me. But it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, we did not get our main third color for the longest time. Wait, what happened? Oh, nothing happened. They just brought the creatures back. Uh, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Four and three, seven. But if we cast this, we don't have... Yeah, it doesn't matter which guy we cast. They're just dead, basically. We are just D-E-D -E -D dead. Uh, sure, doesn't matter what we block. We couldn't have a 7 0. We just couldn't have a 7 0. We have to lose due to mana scroll. Okay, let's remove one mountain since we seem to be drawing mountain like crazy. Add one more forest, even though this also gives us red, this also gives us red. And we don't have double red, we only have one red. <sighs> Absolutely enervating. Absolutely enervating, to say the least. Like, we just needed that one forest, like, I don't know, earlier sometime earlier also we needed the opponent to not you know protect their guy when we try to kill the guy and then after they cast Solkana it's pretty much over because it's difficult to deal with Solkana even when you're not color screwed or mana screwed no why do people play this stuff we have to ask ourselves why do they play this stuff? Uh, attack, I guess. We would like more lands as much as we love our cut downs. Oh, we finally get our angry elf. <laughs> Why are we not getting lands? We're like stuck on three lands, literally three lands. We went from color screw to basically mana screw now. What, are we supposed to lose this game too? After going 5-0? Arena woke up and he's like, oh, this guy is winning. This guy is winning. Why is this guy winning? He's not supposed to win. He is literally not supposed to win. Yep. Cut down does not work on anything except this guy. <laughs> uh, we might as well use it now before they get the mana to do something to him. And list. 
Yes, he would like to attack. Oh, we can actually cut her down too. Oh, but we cast this already. Cut down is not bad. Okay, now we have to kill another creature and then we can cut her down. Okay, I'm not sure how we're gonna do that. Wait, we got two snare spinners in our deck? We didn't even know. He doesn't have trample actually. Uh, yeah, you got it. <laughs> gonna keep making tokens yeah we gotta cut him down we can't wait for queen to cut down the queen and we need a red mana now that we took now that we took the mountain out we obviously don't get the red mana now because it always has to be something okay so we're facing the whatever dot deck whatever dot deck Oh, we do get to kill her. Okay, so that is pretty sweet. She's going bye-bye. Still waiting for the red mana. We don't have the red thing that deals one damage to every creature. It's in our sideboard. As we said, there's a two mana, like instant or sorcery, that deals one damage to every creature. Which would be useful. Okay, stop making tokens. Just stop it. For the love of all that is holy, just stop making tokens. Ah, no red. No red, because that's asking too much to get red. Because we took the mountain out. It's like it's a game. And we don't mean... Magic the Gather. It's like it's a game arena versus players. Okay, so he's gonna pump everything now because we didn't draw red or remover for him. Okay, so we're losing this game too. So I don't know what exactly happened after we won those five four games, but losing two games in a row. One was to color screw of green. This is a like color screw of red. After we put more green in. It's a textbook case of arena controlling your wins and losses. Textbook case. And they have to attack with him because they get to put counters on everything. Why would they not attack with like all the tokens? That's the part that we don't understand. Oh, they don't want him to to die. They're just gonna use him to enlist, okay. That makes sense. Do they have a pump spell? No, they have a remover spell. That's just as good. Okay, so we don't have any board wipe. We are also not getting any res, so we can't play any of these creatures. So, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty much game over. Arena made sure we don't win any more games after we got five wins, which is still so good. It is still so good for us, considering the previous drafts that we had. Yes, we are in three colors, and yes, opponent always gets their three colors out. Yep. I 
I think it doesn't even matter at this point because there's no board wipe. We don't have board wipes or something to deal 3 damage to everything. Uh, and this guy coming down basically does nothing. I mean, he can kill the death touch guy. And that's it. And they just attack with everybody and then we're basically dead. Sitting on our two mini bombs. Because we can't get red. What a surprise. And of course they have Shalai Zakolai too, because why wouldn't they? Just attack to the whole team. Why would you attack? Just attack with everybody. Why you have to choose everybody single? Attack with him too. He puts everything's 4-4. Four, four. Okay, just concede because his opponent is just... I don't know what they're doing. So, we just jump from 5-0 and oh to completely getting smashed two games in a row. And of course people will say, well, you're playing people with better decks. No, we're playing with with one color missing from our games both times. Whether they have better decks or not, that's not the point. The point is that we're missing one color both times and we can't actually play our deck. We had to keep two cards in hand the whole game because we couldn't cast them. And the fir first game that we lost, we're missing like green, which is one of our main colors. And uh, what do you know? We actually get kind of all three of our colors this time. What a surprise. What a surprise. Uh, this is taking so long. This draft is taking so long and we basically drafted pretty quickly though. And we got the five wins pretty quickly as well. What is this going to be a mana scoot game again? Boris the Badger. Not color screw, but like literally mana screw. We should have probably just played a forest and then this to scry for land. Or is this another token deck? Okay. I think we're just gonna scry. I don't think we need this. We'd rather have more land. And play one Boris the Badger. And pass the turn. They can't attack into the spider, so it doesn't matter. Next time we can play this tapped. Unless we get another land and then we can play this. Yep, more tokens. Another token land, because why not? Do we actually want to do this for one? I think it's good enough for one. We can't kick for both, we don't have enough mana. Last the turn. Next turn it's time for Lord Wind Grace to come down. Or we can just cast this with Kicker, because he has Trampo too. So you can actually draw an extra car. We just, I mean, we should have put the red, the red thing that deals one damage to every creature. We just can't beat like token decks. We just can't. Why are these guys crazy? The spider just eats it alive. What, do they have a palm spell to kill the spider? We don't really care if they kill the spider. Sure. Oh, they want to make more tokens. Yeah, it's just absolutely disgusting. Let's get our main man down. Uh, not attack. We still need to draw lands. And of course they get it. Of course they have it. Of course the opponent always has it. Can we get a fifth land so we can actually kill stuff? Nope. We can't get a fifth land, but the opponent can. The opponent can. Let's attack. Maybe we can get through and draw an extra card. Yes. Let's 
Nope, it's not a land. It is absolutely not a land. And we lose to mana screw again. Yep, no fifth land. We get absolutely no fifth land. Because reasons. We also don't get any cut down. And the opponent also doesn't draw lands, they just draw creature after creature after creature. So this is what happens, boys and girls, this is what happens when you play magic. After you get 5 wins in a row, Arena will just basically stop you. Why are they so aggressive? Like, what is going on? I'm sure they have some type of pump spell, but at this point it doesn't really matter because we have cards in hand that we can cast. And we managed to get 5 wins. Yeah, everything gets plus 2, plus 1. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. You only drew five lands and you just got the win. So we lost three in a row, which is not surprising after winning the first five. And we lost two of these to the token decks because we didn't have the card that deals one damage. And we lost to mana screw. <coughs> we got color screw twice and mana screw once. So thank you for watching. Please click like and subscribe for more MTG content videos.